Hi, my name is Georgia Vasiliu. I'm a Romanian architect and I currently live in Bucharest, Romania. So, before I got diagnosed, I used to live my life like any other teenager or young adult uh, here in Bucharest. I was studying architecture, I was uh, taking care of my hobbies, going out swimming, uh, going out with friends. Uh, I was even moving in together with my girlfriend a few months before uh, the diagnosis, not actually, uh, a year before the diagnosis. And uh, I was just living my life uh, like uh, any other regular citizen making plans for the future, thinking of what I'm going to do after I finish school and uh, how things would uh, evolve in my career and everything. So my cancer was a very weird one because uh, I didn't have any symptoms for a very long time up until to the diagnosis actually. Uh, I didn't uh, feel bad or had any pains for a very long, long time and uh, all of a sudden everything uh, just uh, popped up and I started uh, to feel tired, started uh, to uh, just uh, sleep a lot more. Uh, I even began losing my appetite a bit and at one point I remember uh, I was sitting in bed eating pizza uh, this is how I got diagnosed, uh, from a slice of pizza, which when I was eating it scratched the tumor in my stomach and that started to bleed. The internal bleeding was detected very quickly and uh, it triggered all the tests to follow it, a blood test, echo, uh, and then eventually up to CT scans and uh, uh, an, an endoscopy. Yeah, I definitely did. So when I started to feel tired more and more, uh, I used to think it was because I was overworking. Uh, at one point I did have two jobs and I was studying architecture at the same time. And uh, I thought maybe it was just because of school. Uh, there used to be this culture around uh, us architects that we sleep very little and we work very hard, which is true. And uh, I didn't think much of it. Uh, even when it got bad, when I would go outside for a few minutes and I would get tired, I didn't think of it. After that internal bleeding, uh, uh, which I noticed, I called my doctor, my family doctor, and uh, we began all, uh, all the tests for an internal bleeding thinking maybe it was an ulcer or something very small and unimportant. And uh, sadly, uh, as it turned out, uh, within about three hours, I went from thinking that I have an ulcer or something minor, not important, to find out I got stage four uh, gastric cancer. I remember I was uh, feeling a bit sick the days before and I took some paracetamol uh, and they thought maybe it was poisoning from that those pills because they they are they have a liver toxicity in, in them and uh, I just uh, uh, thought the same maybe it was something regarding the stomach uh, they did a blood test that came up very bad uh, most of the liver tests were uh, uh, inflated five six times and there were other tests that were very very uh, very bad and uh, they said okay we should do an echo to to see if there's something and I remember going there and uh, uh, they checked out the liver and they said there's uh, 40 centimeters I didn't understood at the time that they were talking about a 14 centimeter tumor I thought they were talking about the size of the liver uh, and there were other lesions in their uh, present so I go gave those to my mother and she works at the hospital. Uh, she works on the technical part, but she forwarded the tests to the doctors and they said right away next morning, come to the hospital, we need to do a CT scan. Did the CT scan and that showed uh, what was evident, that it was uh, cancer. So 
I was very fortunate having a lot of uh, uh, friends that came together in those moments and uh, the diagnosis came very quickly. Uh, from the moment I got to the hospital to the moment I got my diagnosis, I don't think more than three hours passed. And because it was an emergency, uh, I had the biopsy done within, within that time frame. So for me it was a huge shock because to find all of this within a day, uh, it's a lot to take on and to chew on. Uh, but from a medical perspective, it was very, very good because I didn't have to wait at all. Uh, from the moment of uh, getting to the hospital to the moment of talking to the doctor and then beginning uh, treatment straight away. Uh, the official diagnosis is an esogastric cancer. It's at the junction between the stomach and the esophagus and it's at that time it had spread to the liver, uh, to the diaphragm and, and in the abdomen and to the lymph nodes uh, there. So what I did at that moment, because it was extremely shocking for me, I knew I had to let uh, things do a bit and not process everything at once. And uh, knowing that I had such great support from my girlfriend and my mother, uh, I knew that I could lay back a bit and let some of the pressure off my shoulders and the pressure of uh, understanding the diagnosis, the changing the changes you have to make in your life and all, all it comes with it. Uh, I, I left a, a bit of that to them in, in the initial period. I didn't want to do any research on the disease because I knew things were bad, but I also knew that finding out things such as survival rates would have demoralized me heavily. So I said, okay, let's take a step back, uh, process things in my own rhythm, and then uh, when I'm ready to step back in the game, I could uh, be up there and I could take some of the pressure off their shoulders. So at the start I didn't want to find any information and uh, I let my girlfriend and mother uh, uh, do all the research and uh, find out what the best lines of treatment are, uh, where to go, when to go. Uh, Sadly, my family has a very long history of cancer. Uh, half of my family members had it. And uh, due to that, uh, uh, them going to the hospital so much, uh, they knew the doctors, they knew where to go, they knew what tests needed to be done. So uh, things were a bit uh, smoothed out by them for me. Uh, they helped me so much in that period and they made sure I didn't have to go through the, the terrific emotional stress that patients go through in those initial uh, weeks of the diagnosis and treatment. Mm -hmm.